Now, the thing as a patient I worry about most, of course, is what's going to happen next, right? So um, the condition is called a neurodegenerative disease, so that fancy way, I guess, of think, saying that things get worse over time. But can you give me a prognosis in any way? The important thing to realize, and, and, and you're right, I, I, first of all, using the term disease or neurodegeneration is very threatening to, to patients as, as it is to you. I don't like to use those terms because the bottom line is that there is so much heterogeneity, so much variability for each individual patient that in general, when I see a patient like you, I mean, you've barely begun treatment, you've got very mild symptoms, you're active, you're athletic. Those are very good indications that, that Parkinson's will have a minimal impact on, on your life for a long, long time. And we haven't even really begun to treat you. And with current medical therapies and surgical therapies and all the therapies that we have, I look at someone like you and most patients with newly diagnosed Parkinson's, and I paint a very optimistic picture that you're going to be able to live a rich, full, and, and normal or close to normal life for a long, long time. If you see me now over the next year, two years, three years, how long do you need to kind of update that prognosis? I mean, you, some patients, I would imagine, have more problems sooner. Some patients do well for a long time. When do you know? What are you looking for? Well, prognosis is still very much an art in this business, but there are some general concepts. For example, patients who have unilateral symptoms that are mild and persistent, patients that have a predominance of tremor, patients that are basically younger and healthier, tend to do better in the long term. That's compared with patients who have marked slowness of movement, bilateral symptoms, trouble with gait and balance early on in the course, those are the patients that tend to have more difficulties going forward. Uh, and that may take a few years to, to determine. But in general, uh, given our therapies that we have available today that you'll hear about in later modules, we're very successful at treating the motor symptoms of Parkinson's for a long time. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Stern.